Hi everyone, back again with another video, and this one is for a reaction of The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Ah, interesting title, I'll say that. <laughs> um, so I don't know... Actually, I'm relatively sure that this is like a prequel to the first, like, f before the um, first three Hunger Games movies, I'm pretty sure. Um, that kind of makes sense, because I think in the, the very last Hunger Games movie it's kind of, or book as well, it's shown that, like, I think the whole Hunger Games thing is done, um, which is good, and I really do like that part in the last one where she kind of Katniss's, Katniss's? Katniss, the Katniss character ended the cycle. That was really nice that that was a thing, because, like, they could have literally just repeated it, but with the, the Capitals kids, which was kind of like, oh my god, they're just going in circles. Um, it was cool to see that she ended that. She had some in integrity to realize that, look, capital kids, district kids, it doesn't matter. It's messed up, right? So um, that was cool that that kind of bit happened. So I really appreciated that whole aspect. Um, aside from that, uh, don't get me wrong, I wasn't like that blown away by the last two Hunger Games movies. I think they were good. Like, they were, they were decent. Um, but my favorite one out of all the Hunger Games, um, I haven't read the books, I've just watched the movies, but my favorite movie out of the lot is um, Catching Fire, that's for sure. Catching Fire was great, I thought, really well done, even on a filmmaking standpoint, but also um, on a story standpoint, I think it was the best out of all of them. Um, but that being said, I am still curious to see where this one's going to go, because considering it's basically set with, like, districts, and I guess it's back, I don't know if it shows, like, the war before, um, like, what actually caused them to even start the Hunger Games, that would be interesting, I have no idea where this is set, but I'm quite curious to check it out, that's for sure, so, um, yeah, I don't have, like, completely huge high hopes for this movie, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, so, anyway, let's see what this trailer shows, it's, there's no point to speculate here, I have no idea. So, let's go and see what this is like. I think there's already a book about this, right? It's just not been done as a film. Maybe I'm wrong about that as well. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Let me quickly check that. Book. Yeah, it looks like this has been a book. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's kind of like a spin-off as well. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's, let's uh, check this out and see what it's like. logo thing with the snake and then the birds. <laughs> or the bird. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Hi. Games themselves, yeah, Dean no, 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 Casca Hyde. Oh, what? He's in it too? Oh, that's sweet. I have summoned you all here for huh. the 10th annual reaping ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From District 12. Lucy Gray Baird. It's not that bad for here, isn't it? There has been a change this year. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. What does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. You really want to take care of me in that arena? Start by thinking I can actually win. She seems like quite a determined character compared to like Katniss, the Katniss character, which is interesting because I remember with Katniss she was quite scared and terrified. Like yes, she was good with a bow, but like she couldn't get hold of a bow. You know, she was quite doubtful. But this character seems very different, which is interesting. Host of the Hunger Games. Enjoy the show. Five, four, enjoy the show. Three, two, enjoy the show. Run. Enjoy the show. That's it. What happens in there? Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. Kind of a cool shot. See how quickly we become predator? See how quickly okay. civilization disappears? Oh, There's nice. a natural goodness built into us. Looks very, um, kind of noir or, um, yeah, dystopian or whatever. Looks kind of cool. We can step across that line Ooh. into evil. There are some good shots in this trailer. Or not. Quite liking parts of it. Because it's moments. You hear 
hear that, boy. It's the sound of snow falling. How wonderful that we all get to be here for mm. someone's final performance. It's not just about winning. Everything is about winning. Mm. You're monsters! All of you! <laughs> huh. Yeah. Some way of looking at it, that's for sure. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Oh, that's interesting that they put his voice at the end. I don't know if that means he's alive. Um, or they just put that in. That was interesting. November. Right. Still a while away, huh? Yeah, this actually looks quite good. Um, it actually looks good in a sense of the filmmaking as well. In parts like the lighting, it looks good in parts. The colour. In some bits, it looked a little bit, just kind of a bit dull. But there was moments where I was like, hey, that actually looks quite good. Like, um, where was it? Like, even that shot, the lighting looks quite nice with that. Yeah, there's just moments. There's quite monochromatic colour schemes, that's for sure. Like, even this, the way the colour in that looks. It's, yeah, it's quite monochromatic. There, that shot particularly looks nice. That looks quite awesome. Like, yeah, so this movie visually does look like a, a step up. I mean, the second Hunger Games looked quite good as well, I remember. Uh, the first one had its moments, but it was a lot of just shaky cam and quick cuts that kind of annoyed me in parts. It made sense but in some parts, but it just kind of got a bit annoying in the long run. It was kind of a bit too much, I felt. But uh, aside from that, um, yeah, this this looks good. And, and the story is intriguing. I'm, I'm curious to see where it's going to go, what's going to happen. So... Yeah, I'm quite keen to check this out on, what is it, November 17th? I'll probably do a review on it when it comes out, and then it may be in the future sometime. Or, hey, perhaps maybe at some point I'll do um, reaction videos to the other Hunger Games movies. I have seen them already, but, you know, I could go through it and, you know, talk about particular things I like about it in a bit more in-depth for, a, like, a reaction or commentary type video. So that might be something I'll do over this year. We'll, we'll uh, see what happens. But, uh, yeah. And tell me if you're actually curious about that. Would you like me to do a reaction or commentary to the, the past Hunger Games movies? Or even just some reviews? Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd be curious about that. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope to catch you folks in the next one. Bye-bye.